There's a bad atmosphere in Air City. The air is filled with nasty substances that harass the citizens. One is especially infamous, CO2. And for good reason, CO2 is our main contribution to the greenhouse effect, which is leading to climate change. Once in the air, CO2 normally remains a problem for more than a hundred years. But CO2 is not alone. There are many other dubious characters, short-lived gases and particles, the so-called SLCPs. SLCPs pollute the air and contribute to climate change. Some of these SLCPs only stay in the air for a decade, and others just for a couple of days. But still, these pollutants are dangerous. Their names are soot, methane, ground level ozone, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, ammonia, volatile organic compounds, and particulate matter, or PM. CO2 and these SLCPs often originate from the same sources. These include transport sources like cars, tractors, or ships. And another major source for the emissions of SLCPs and CO2 is industry, especially coal-fired power plants. Landfills emit methane, as do leaks from biogas plants and pipelines. Even intensive agricultural practices cause emissions of these substances. Now, these pollutants don't just stay where they were emitted. They travel from the cities to the countryside and vice versa. Some of them even travel from one continent to another. And they are dangerous. Studies estimate that by 2050, air pollution will be the single largest environmental cause of premature death, worse than unsafe drinking water, malaria, and lack of hygiene combined. SLCPs also damage plants, causing crop loss from agriculture. Each year, about 32 million tons of food are lost around the world due to SLCPs. Many also contribute to global warming. In fact, soot is in second place after CO2 for warming the Earth. However, some of these SLCPs have the opposite effect. They cool the climate regionally by reflecting sunlight. But no matter whether they warm or they cool, all SLCPs have negative effects on our health and the environment. What can the poor citizens of Air City do against this terror? And what can we do? Luckily, there is no reason to bury our heads in the sand. There are many things that can be done against SLCPs. But we have to act as individuals and also together as a society. A whole bunch of technological solutions already exist. For example, we can install particle filters in our diesel cars. Or we can support action to prevent leakages in pipelines. And to capture methane leaking from landfills to be used as a source of energy. If we reduce SLCPs, we can improve our quality of life immediately and locally where the effort is made. Unfortunately, only applying new technologies won't be enough to solve the problem sustainably. Luckily, we can all contribute to the solution individually. How? For example, by saving electricity and using less hot water, this will already have a significant effect. Or by choosing alternatives instead of driving cars or eating less meat, which would reduce the need for factory-like livestock farms. And with each change we make, it makes sense to think about how to tackle both problems, climate change and air pollution, at the same time. We always need to think carefully. Wood, for example, is an almost CO2-neutral fuel. But CO2-neutral fuels can still affect the climate, since SLCPs such as soot, methane, and ozone precursors are still emitted when the wood is burned. We could use clean technologies, make efforts where we ourselves can make a change, and as a society, work towards the transformation of whole sectors. For example, developing a sustainable transport system, or changing our idea of modern housing by using district heating. And we can improve the insulation of our buildings, and always be focusing on the big picture thinking of CO2 and air pollutants at the same time. That would save us energy and resources. And that's how we as individuals and as a society can act, locally and globally, to help mitigate air pollution and climate change together, today and in the future.
in Air City and everywhere. <laughs>